nothing brings more joy to my heart than to see my two boys playing, just like when I see my girls playing. Sweet. This is what farming's about. Right there. Today is our last day uh, of milking Allie, just for two months to let her freshen up. So it was about 4.40. So um, I'm gonna try to sleep in tomorrow. Shh, don't tell anybody. It's gonna be pretty nice. You know, it's funny. I actually ordered, um, ordered a replacement hose and replacement piston for this milker probably a month ago. And what's so funny, I just got both of those yesterday. <laughs> so I'm not going to use them. I'm just going to do get, you know, get by with what I've already gotten by with. And we'll just fit those up for later. Because I sure don't want to use it just for one time. And have to go through and clean brand new stuff. So but we cut off cold turkey. So this morning, we've not, I wouldn't say we've been rationing her food. We just have not been given any extra uh, alfalfa. We give just enough, just what she needs and not putting on new fields right now, just letting her have just hay. And um, she's done great. So it's weird, we're back inside and, and as we talk about transitions, it's very strange because here we are today finishing up milking our cow. So that will calm down for the next two, two months. We are gonna be transitioning, butchering two hogs this next uh, two or three days. We lost a cow, as y'all saw yesterday, which breaks our heart. So there's a lot of things always taking place on the farm. And it's like we almost have to <laughs> wrap our hands around whatever we got for the day. Every new day is a new farm chore and a new farm transition that we're trying to figure out as we get ready for, I mean, the garden. It's January, and we're talking about the garden. But for Mississippi, we can start getting stuff in the ground in February. So it's very important for us to watch what we've already got planted, but start everything else as it gets ready to go in the garden so you see it's always crazy and we're going to be doing a lot of with with pork and, and and sausages and all that next week because that's what we're going to be dealing with that week so every week is new every day is new because we never know what we're going to face here on the farm so we had a storm last night it's a beautiful morning already this morning let's see if we can give you some sky right there but it is beautiful so this morning was the first morning we freshened up Allie. So we're gonna kind of just check her today, make sure she her bag is full, I can tell you, by just looking right at her right there. So we're hoping that she will just be okay and not have mastitis or have any issues with freshening up. This is our first time freshening up Allie. Now we've freshened up Elsa before, and of course Elsa is no longer with us, but Allie is. And she is a hardier cow, so we're hoping that she will be okay when we freshen her up. She will be expecting a calf in two months. So we are excited about that. So today, we're watching her, making sure she's okay, but first. Haircutting day. She's going to be like a unicorn. So if you cut my hair, can I cut your hair? Do you know, baby? Do I get to cut your hair? Okay, so we got done with some of the inside chores, helped Miss Mac out with our new baby. So we're back at the lambs. Um, the storm, we didn't realize it kind of blew the sheep shelter. We're going to put the top back on it, but we're gonna be moving the sheep right here underneath this uh, this little pine pine grove area right here, because it's got some fresh grass that has never been ate. So, I mean, look at this. Uh, this is the kind of stuff that they'll have, just good quality grass. So we'll make a big one here. We are gonna leave the pigs, even though they're in a mud area, we put some hay in there earlier. We're gonna leave them here for another just two days because actually we'll be harvesting the pink pigs um, literally uh, in two days. So then once we harvest them, we'll move the pigs and they'll be the neighbors again by the sheep here.
that tree. Get it. Get it. Got me. This is popping, and that's not good. So we're going to have to find out why it's popping. I know it's just mud. We had to go and move them. We were not moving these pigs. I mean, we really were not until we were, you know, until we were slaughtering. However, what happened was, of course, you see how good they teal, but they dumped their water over, which made a mess, which made issues for the ground. And of course it grounded out the net. So Aiden went and got another net, but ultimately it's still, we're still having some issues with this. So let's see. See how hard it's hitting like that? That's not a good sign. So let's see. I think it's right here. Here. Okay, so we've got the, the charger is still blinking red green but there's nothing we can do about it right now. See where this is at, all this edge, this is where they were. And you see it's just a mud pit because they dumped their water. So that we put them on some fresh ground all right here without having to move their water because we just filled it up. However, I think we got issues down here. This causing it to ground out pretty quickly. And I, so we might be moving the water anyway. I think they're, when they're this big though, you have to be careful because it's like the other night they got out. Just like this, they push so much dirt on these nets. These nets are phenomenal. But in the winter months when it's raining and nasty and overcast and then they're digging it up, it's not good for you because ultimately they have a chance to get out like it's popping right there. So Aiden, that's what he's doing. He's calling me now. He's had to go get another charger because they've already burned this one out by pushing stuff on it. Okay, so we talked about putting the sheep over here, if you remember, in these woods behind the BA Berry. Well, that was our plan, and that's what we were planning on doing this morning. Come on, Jay. Come on, bud. However, underneath these pines, there's a good bit of grass. And also, just like we said with, with the fact of them being mowers, I mean, they, they'll eat all of this, this hedge, like this stuff all, well, this is grass, great grass under here too. But all this hedge inside this pine tree, instead of me having to bush hog it, or cl they'll clean it all up. They'll eat every bit of that. And they'll top it off and then what we'll do is turn around and put the pigs they're making their way all the way around here too around this u and then they'll come in and till it up so basically this will be free cleaning underneath trees you know without having to pay somebody to come in and bush hog or me bush hog or have to do anything like that because the sheep will eventually be in those doing the same thing then we'll rotate the pigs right behind them just like we did in front of the house your animals are going to benefit you for food but let your animals do more than just provide you food. Your chickens need to be permaculture chickens. They need to be making uh, good compost. They need to be cleaning up behind the cows. Your sheep doing the same thing, eating the stuff the cows don't eat and doing lawn maintenance all in your areas. Let your pigs be your tillers. They've tilled up our whole gardens, all 10,000 square foot gardens and all the new gardens that you see on our channel. The pigs did it. They did it all. They dug, they cleaned, they pruned, they took all the old stuff that's no good and then fertilized it back. So use your animals for more than just feeding you because you're feeding them. The feed you're putting into them shouldn't be just to feed you back. Let it be a bigger circle. Let it be a bigger circle. Let it be permaculture. Let it be while you're feeding them, they're feeding the land. They're feeding the land that makes them bigger then turn around and feed you. It's just a bigger, bigger, better circle when you're not just feeding them to feed you when they're actually working your land. Let them be used that way. See, this right here, this is all, I mean, look at this grass. I mean, this is, this is good grass, green grass all through here. Look at that. And they'll eat every bit of it, but guess what they're doing? They're eating under here, eating oak leaves and hedge, hedge bushes and all these little just random, 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 random hedges all through here like this. They ate this down. This was just a little hedge that grows up and people hate because it gets to be 10, 15 foot tall like this. See that? That's how tall it was. It was over three foot tall and it is gone to the ground. So they'll clean all this up and make it look so good. Look how big she is, look. Now, she is pretty far along, but over here, Minnie, she's already starting to swell pretty good on her back end. 
and she's her udders are starting to swell a little bit so i think she's going to be very close you know we were trying to decipher who was going to be uh <laughs> who was going to be closer misty or the the sheep and misty beat out the sheep of course but i think she is getting really close many is we're going to naturally let them lamb right here they will be lambing within the next month no doubt uh, actually probably in the next two to three weeks both of them should lamb so right now they're working under here and not only do they have their sheep covered they have all this beautiful trees to be under all this natural bedding with pine straw we've been bringing them hay but now they have natural bedding all under these trees where this is about five six acres right here that they'll work under A meal provided by some special people. So you think about it. It's been nice when we had this child. It's been, people have been really good to us. Mm -hmm. Today makes two weeks and we really haven't cooked, but like breakfast and basically that's been it because we've had leftovers for the most part. But we've had people from our homeschooling group. We've had people from our church and family that has cooked and brought for us, which is great because it allows me to keep up with laundry and stuff like that, and tend to a toddler and a newborn at the same time. So very blessed and thankful for that. I said, let's just keep this going. Let's just act like we're having babies every week. <laughs> and then that way we can just keep people cooking for us. Is that okay? Is that about to work? No, I don't think so. Guys, hope you enjoy our vlogs. God bless. Happy home y'all. Happy home y'all.